Greetings and salutations. Welcome to another episode of 365 Days of Gaming. Appreciate you taking our time to check out this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe. But let's not delay. Let's not waste any time. So, most of the games that you have heard me speak on carry some sort of fond memory. And this one's no different, but it's not going to be in the direction that we normally go. Okay? I know that some people think we're going to pick on the poor Genesis. We're not. It is a Genesis game, and it is a bad game. But it's not because it's on the Genesis that we're talking about. It's because of the memory that I have associated with this game. Now, this game is called Awesome, Awesome, Kick Up the Machine. I'm awesome. When you first see this game, you're going to notice that it takes some liberties with other people's ideas. First and foremost, this is a very 90s game, but it is all the bad things about the 90s. It is corporations figuring that they could take the things that they think we like about a game and put them into a game and we will then go out and purchase that game. And that is not how this works. Didn't work back then, does not work now. So Awesome Possum clearly wants to be Sonic. That is very evident from the moment you start the game. If you hadn't figured out how much he ripped off from Sonic, let me explain it to you. The main villain in Awesome Possum is a fellow by the name of Dr. Machino. That's right. Not Dr. Robotnik. Dr. Machino. It is, it is blatant plagiarism, right? It is the definition of legally different. But clearly, we know who you're talking about. But let me talk about the other things that this game gets wrong. I cannot control Awesome Possum. It, it is almost impossible. And maybe it's because he's too awesome. But I suspect it's because this game is bad. He's always sliding. And the enemies are robots. But they are the most boring robots they could come up with. In Sonic, all the Robotniks have these little like quirks about them. So you got the monkey who's throwing things at you. That's hanging on the tree. You got the drill guy, you got the chicken from the cartoon, you know, you got the fish that come out, they're like piranhas trying to bite you that jump out the water. Awesome Possum has robots and jets and drills and bulldozers. That's it. Everything looks like a real thing. I don't know why the jet is smaller than the lumberjack robot, but they are. They really are. Then awesome possum likes to jump places not like mario but he does the 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 spring that sonic does but instead it's like a bongo i guess or like a drum and it shoots you wherever it wants to if it decides to let you shoot shoot yourself there i don't know at the time what i'm trying to do the game decides it's doing something else and it just does it um i will say Awesome Possum has a life bar versus, you know, just having rings or no ring and immediately dying. So that's kind of cool, you know, um, but it's still like awful uh, after every level, because the game doesn't think you're not having enough fun, likes to ask you a trivia question, which isn't the worst thing. But the questions they ask, I tried to record some footage, which I had to go back and record more. Uh, because one of the questions that asked me, which I didn't get to record, was about the volcano eruption of the Krakatoa and how long did ash fill the air? At most, I was 10 when I was played this, when I played this game. What was I supposed to do with that? Like that, that's preposterous. That's these questions. They're, they're way too high level for kids. They're too high level for a nerdy kid like me. I was much more nerdier than I am now. I know that's hard to believe. Some of you might be laughing right now, but that's okay. You know, I've, I've, I've accepted it. I've grown, I've grown past it. So they challenge you with trivia questions. And I made the mistake of getting one of these questions right. And to reward me, it put me into a bonus stage. Now I saw bonus stage and I'm like, all right, cool beans, bonuses. I'll get some more lives or some power-ups or something. It was basically a level and I died on it because it was just like a regular level and they just put me to the next level after asking me another trivia question so yeah not really a big fan of this game but i remember 
the first time I played it and my brother went to go visit his father came home and he's like bro I got this game for the Genesis it's gonna be super dope it's called Awesome Possum now I'm a child of the 90s you gonna rhyme some words of course I'm in why wouldn't I be in and it's the word awesome right if you were around in the 90s you know how much that word was used to describe only good things so only good can come from this game I was so wrong I probably played the first level I don't remember doing a trivia question I just remember kindly taking the game out handing it to my brother and going nah not gonna be able to do it you can but I am not I don't think he did in fact I'm almost positive he didn't play that game because it wasn't good but if you have different feelings about awesome possum I would love to hear them. Tell me why you think he is actually awesome and not just a possum who is stealing from the blue blur himself. Appreciate you taking our time to check out this video. As always, have fun. Be safe. Peace.